This is how you can host your Discord bot online 24-7 for free, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, if you're interested in getting the source code from any of the videos on my YouTube channel, you can go ahead and join a god tier on Discord or a super god tier on YouTube. You can also get a bot tier subscription, which is the full zip file of the exact bot used in the tutorial videos. And you can also get three bot packages, which are fully coded Discord bots based on a specific topic. If any of this is of interest to you, go ahead and click the links in the description below. And with that, let's go ahead and actually get into our hosting. Okay, so the first link in the description below is going to bring you to discloud.com. This is what we're going to be using to actually host our Discord bot. So the first thing that you're going to go ahead and do on this page is go ahead and switch from Portuguese to English. I'm assuming you speak English. If not, just leave it, but go ahead and switch to English so that way you can actually read it. Then what we're going to go ahead and do is we're actually going to go ahead and click on the enter button. This is going to be a login page. From here, you're either going to log in with GitHub or Discord. It's important to note that GitHub is going to be the only login option soon. So if you're creating a new account now, I would recommend logging in with GitHub. It's going to bring you to this page. All you have to do is connect your GitHub so you can go ahead and put your email and password. And then you're just going to go ahead and click on Authorize Discloud here. Now, after you log in, you're either going to be brought back to the homepage or you're going to go ahead and be brought to your dashboard. I'm going to show you how to get there. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the dashboard right up here. So I'm still using a Discord account because that is what I've always had on this. But if you are going to use a Discord account, you actually have to link your GitHub account. So just go ahead and make sure you do that. So after we've logged in, uh, the first thing that we're going to go ahead and need to get is our API key. So we're actually going to go ahead and click on the API key tab right up here. And obviously mine is blurred out, but what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to go ahead and copy the API key that you see right here. This is going to be important because we're going to be using it in a couple of seconds. Now, the way that we're actually going to be using Discloud today is we're going to use the Visual Studio Code extension. There's a couple other ways you can host your bot by pressing on the add app, or you could use the Discord bot in the Discloud Discord. But in my experience, using the Visual Studio Code extension is way easier. It takes like two clicks and then you can commit your changes to your host from Visual Studio Code and you can also view the console logs and do everything like you would normally do in Visual Studio Code, which makes everything way easier. So to do that, like I said, go ahead and click on the API key and go ahead and copy it. Then let's go ahead and go over to your Discord bot. So this is going to be the Discord bot project that you're going to be using for me and all the tutorials on this channel. It is a uh, discord.js version for 14 slash command bot handler but it doesn't really matter regardless you should be able to do this with any type of handler you're using all right so now we're going to go ahead and install the extension here by going over to our extensions tab and we're going to go ahead and search for discloud and we can go ahead and click enter so now that we have our Discloud extension, let's go ahead and press stall. So for me, it shows up automatically, but you might need to press reload extensions for it to show up on the left here. So after we do that, let's go ahead and actually click on the extension and you're gonna see that it says submit your Discloud token. So what you have to do is you actually have to go ahead and click on the button and up in here, you're gonna paste the API token that you got from the website. So once you go ahead and paste your token, then you would go ahead and press enter. Now I guess it blurs it out, so I'm gonna paste my token. And then once we go ahead and press enter, it's gonna go ahead and log me in. So this means that we're essentially logged in, but it also says no app found. So in order to add an app, we're gonna go over to the files and we're gonna actually go ahead and click, right click here. And we're gonna go ahead and find the Discloud extension here. And all we have to do is create a discloud.config. So once we have our Discloud config, let's go ahead and go into it. This is essentially going to be providing the host with the information it needs to turn your bot on and host it. So essentially all we have to do here is we have to provide a main file. Mine is index.js. Your main file is the file that is essentially making your bot run. So if you're using the dev toolkit package, it's index.js. JS. If you're using the slash command package, it's src slash index.js. Um, but regardless of what package you're using, you do have a main file that you have to put in here. Then we're going to go ahead and give our bot a name. So let's just go ahead and do dev toolkit. That's the name of my bot. Um, and everything else we can just leave as is. And we can also go ahead and do auto restart to true or false. I'm going to actually set it to true. That way it will auto restart. After we do that, let's go ahead and close out of here and we're going to go ahead and right click and let's go ahead and choose Discloud and we can go ahead and press upload to Discloud. So on the bottom here, you're going to have a prompt that says, are you sure you want to do this? Source Discloud. Go ahead and select yes. 
So now, as you can see, it's going to go ahead and say it's uploading. This will take a little bit of time, so just be patient and it should work here. All right, and as you can see, it's going to say, okay, your app has been started. All right, so now that my app is online, we can go over to the Discloud extension here. And as you can see, it's going to give me the dev toolkit. Uh, it's going to give me that ID and everything, and it's going to go ahead and do status online. So there's a couple of things you can actually go ahead and do in here. If we go ahead and right click, we can go ahead and say get app logs, um, and it's going to open up the logs that essentially is your bot so here as you can see it started and everything's working just as it should which means my bot is on you can also go ahead and click on restart app and stop app from here so you can manage your entire application from visual studio code if we go over to that website and we go ahead and reload our page as you can see it's going to say hosted sites and bots and it's going to be dev toolkit so if we go and click on it now as you can see we have our dev toolkit bot we have access to uh, the cpu and ram we can commit if we want to drop files we can do a bunch of stuff here as well as well as get the logs if we go over to our discord server now as you can see the bot is online i'm not actually hosting it on my computer this is all this cloud and if we go ahead and just run a command we could do say and just test the whole model system i guess if we wanted to and we could do test uh, and then submit it as you can see our bot is working properly it just as it should and it's working pretty fast as well all right so now let's go ahead and say we wanted to make a change to our bot let's say we wanted to add some code in our index.js or we wanted to create a new command or whatever we could just do add code uh, in here so let's just say we added code what we do is we'd go ahead and right click and we'd select this cloud and we do commit to this cloud and we'd click on yes we'd choose our bot and now what's going to happen is the bot is going to essentially update itself on the host and then it should actually restart uh, and we should be able to use that updated code that we just wrote into our bot so every time you're hosting your bot make sure you commit your files using the right click method um, and then as you can see it's going to say your files have been successfully committed which means if we go back to our extensions and we were to go ahead and click on restart app uh, and then we were to restart the app um, then it would restart the app with those committed changes and your committed files would be in your bot that's hosted 24 7 online all right so that's how you can host your discord bot online 24 7 for free if you do need any help with this go ahead and join the server in the description below and you can use our help channels here and we'll be happy to help you out and you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community and with that i'll see you guys in the next video